Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I got a good one. We are on a 1970s house and just showing up I ran into Mark. We're with Inspector Mark and he said that he's already found aluminum wiring, galvanized plumbing and um, and a few other small little things. If you're a buyer, try to get skilled enough to kind of spot these issues to see if you even make it this far. A bathroom that's been renovated. Looks like he's testing the shower pan in here. Got some, got some nice steam coming up. Exhaust fan seems to be working, pulling all the steam in, which is nice. One thing he did notice, he noticed whenever I first came in is the hot and colds were reversed. Pretty common find, I really wouldn't sweat that, but one of the things we do is we always push the stopper in and the stopper got stuck. That's gonna be annoying to tell the homeowner. They always like to say we broke things, but all we do is just just do this. It's a common home inspection, day-to-day -day issue. And then we sometimes write stuff up like this, especially if like there's aluminum wiring. You can see how the outlet is, um, is enclosed in with the tile, and this would be hard to work on if there was any issues. If you had to pull this off, you'd actually have to pop out tiles and replace it if there was an issue with the outlet. Something else that uh, showed up is that we actually have two thermostats, and this property is only in 1970s, and it's actually fairly small. We only have, uh, it's like maybe 2,000 square feet, 2,200 square feet, so we might be running into two units, so something else that we have to build the story on on this property another pretty good find here we have our burn inside of the hvac system we have a little bit of microbial growth that we will ride up in the unit but whenever you have one of these standing up units like this you always want to pull the filter out open up the uh, return and look inside and you can see how dirty it is in here right always want to write it up that it's not sealed up very well and it's pretty dirty which will lead to you always having to clean your coils look how dirty those are so it's a good find we'll be able to write this up and uh, get an HVAC technician out here for our clients or have them or recommend for one but you can even see right here where the moisture where we're underperforming is already building up here and that can cause some moisture build up inside these units and uh, in this area which can cause some mold issues or microbial growth. Okay with these balcony doors you always want to pay special attention to them especially around the base here. I'm not really seeing anything now but typically you'll find some moisture swelling in these corners or around the base or you'll see some staining of wood. This stuff is easily missed as a home inspector or uh, even as a home buyer, for fixing these doors can get quite pricey whenever, when you come in to move in, and then they call it, can cause a lot of damage to the lower areas, so you always pay attention underneath the door. These are always fun. Here's another common find. You can see here that um, these windows, are, these type of big single pane windows, they normally have some sort of water intrusion here and you can see they've been having issues here in this area and then also around the base here where you can see the paint kind of reflecting and then there's a little bit of water damage here so we'll get some moisture meters on that and see if it's active from i think it rained last night actually so we'll check that out so the um the water come in and couldn't just be from the window being sealed too. You can kind of see how the grating is a little high over here. So water could be, whenever it rains, water could be draining in above the, the foundation line and hitting down here at the base too. So they really do have two issues in this location. Hey, welcome to that Texas heat and free AC water. <laughs> no, this is that right here. Uh, this is probably the primary drain line, but if you do have a primary drain line leaking or coming outside, it's okay. You just don't want it to terminate right next to the foundation. So what you, what you want is it to terminate close to the ground and about three feet away from the property because right here, this type of setup is perfect for any type of wood destroying insects. You have wood to ground contact, you have a steady source of moisture, and you're just gonna cause rot and moisture intrusion to the property probably. So easy ride up, 
and an easy fix, really, to be honest. So if you're looking for termites on a property, you want to be looking in an area just like this. We'll dig around, move a few rocks, and being in the Houston area, this time of year, which it's uh, early July, uh, there's a good chance that we're going to find it. So what we need here is to pull up, just kind of do a little bit further investigation. Does not mean that we're going to find them, even if they are there, because there's a lot of blockage here. We just We'll do our best to, with the tools that we have, with the time limit that we're here. So you just want to remember that we don't have x-ray vision. I cannot see behind this wall, but you have everything inviting termites here. So there's a chance that they are. So what we do is um, just recommend for treatment if you decide not to fix these issues. All right, I try to take a lot of shots without sunglasses, but it's it's bright and hot. So we're just, we're going to deal with it today. So right here we got a kind of like an old makeshift deck here and yes we already know that we're going to have a lot to write up and i'm not going to be able to cover everything in this little video but what i'm going to do here is go over some of the issues that i see right away with this deck one of the first things that i notice on this deck is that you can see this span here and you can see it the deck bowing in this location also the handrails and the the wiring is all loose you can see that top plate is rotted just from the ground. So that's just my first walk up. That's what I see right away. Camera lighting keeps going in and out, but you can't really see it. But the, the beam here is not even resting on the post. It's actually lifted off the post and being all, all this weight is held with one lag bolt and some nails and screws here. So we already know that's gonna be an issue. You can see some screws pulling loose in this area. The deck isn't tied into the property well enough either. You can see some rotted wood over here. So we do not know what's going behind this wall and whatever bracing they have for this. This deck isn't gonna support enough weight uh, to perform properly over a long period of time. I, I'd probably just take it out, man. But right here, right underneath the deck with these gutters issues, you can kind of see that there is, the gutters are all sloped in this location. And then there is no kick out flashing or proper clearance from the roof in this location. Another area where we really need to look and see if we have any moisture intrusion in this location. Let's look, get a little closer. You don't have my... Yeah, see right there, it's soft. Yeah, so we know water's making it behind the wall right here in this location. And this is something that should be repaired pretty quickly or you're going to cause some major damage to your property. Yeah, I see Mark's up there and he feels perfectly safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's holding his weight. You're good. I'm just going to hold on right here. Yeah, just put put your family up there for a party. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we noticed that pretty much all the weight is being held by six lag bolts. It doesn't seem to be tied in very well and there's no flashing on the back side of that wall there. So we do see some rod underneath there already. So we're gonna get some moisture readings and some infrared scans of that wall to see uh, what we got, to see if uh, anything more. But we already know that we need to have someone come in and give them a quote to see how much it costs to replace or remove this deck uh, because it's causing damage to the structure. Okay, so inside you can see that it's um, been freshly painted-ish, I'd say within, I wouldn't, it's hard to tell whenever you're judging paint, paint deteriorates in all different types of well, but it's, it seems freshly painted. So that's gonna limit our view as a home inspector. So that's the reason why we carry moisture meters and infrared cameras. So there's just a few things that I noticed in this location. You can see some slight discoloration in this area that lines right up with that kick out flashing outside. And you can see some, you know, like some efflorescence, but also it looks like they kind of keep a dog in here too. So we don't know exactly what that is. We can't say that's conclusive evidence to water. As an inspector, you always need to find like active water um, uh, to say it's actively leaking. But we can say, hey, these are all the signs that it is leaking. I can't tell you if it is or not. So this is uh, an area right here. This is the area that can really concerns us the most. We could have some damage behind the wall that's hard for us to see. Here you go. 
some more areas it's going to get to the point now where it's going to be hard to complete a termite inspection and what i mean by complete you can always complete a termite inspection it's just we're going to say you know our our areas uh, that we could see is really limited whenever you have high soil high rocks gutters pointed towards the property you have excessive moisture if you purchase this property or you're looking at it if i did i'd get it treated right away um, moving in hey you made it this far in the video thanks please hit that take that time and hit that subscribe button and the like and uh call mark for inspections because it's too hot you know it's too hot it's a little warm <laughs> yeah a little steamy <laughs> all right thanks guys all right we'll move on to the next problem this is a new fun tool that we've been walking around with we've been having a lot of humidity issues on properties so uh, we actually drop this in our toolbox so whenever we walk by we can see the humidity and the structure not like the most accurate tool but it gives you the gives you an idea of what the humidity levels are and we really look for like 55 and above I know 50 seems high to some people but in the Houston area that's pretty common yeah Mark over here laughing at the tape fixes on the roof you got some tape and some flex seal spray in these locations did you look over there by the deck where that kick out was yes. yeah and then we got some tape over here and some more flex seal I'm sure that temporarily fix whatever leak they're having but we know you're leaking and back to the deck you can see there's no flashing in these areas and that leads to all that rot underneath that chimney and then whenever you have no kick out or whatever in these areas you always want to kind of step see if you have any rotted decking yeah this deck needs a little bit of TLC funny thing in Texas gutters are not required but if they are in place you report on them and you can see we all gutter issues down there but this is a easy easy call easy spot even though we found those issues with the roof, we find two, two of the most common things that we find on a, on a property is roof and HVAC, right? But even though we found roof issues, this roof is actually in still pretty good shape for the age of the property. Uh, I wouldn't say it needs to be replaced by any means. It just needs a little bit of work uh, to get it done. So that's something that you could ask your home inspector to as well, or even let your clients know, say, hey, this roof needs to be repaired, doesn't need to be replaced because you'll have roofers come in behind you and say, hey, this whole roof needs to be replaced. Look at these four issues because that's where they make the, the most money. Mark was inspecting over here. He noticed that the, when he was digging around in the rocks, he noticed that that same tap, tape flashing from up top is actually in this whole area. He's, we're pretty sure that during heavy storms that this area does not drain very well at all. Um, all we can do is really just report on it and move on from there. But we have to really pay attention whenever we're walking down the hallway and stuff at the base of the wall here to see if we can catch any um, water coming in or evidence of water damage in those areas. Yeah. Some water staining in the garage right above a rusty panel box so always be careful whenever you see something like this water's been making it into this sub panel probably so keep an eye out for that we'll try to open it up in this video try to i don't know if i'll make it just be careful when you open it and you got water above it i'll get ready to kick you, you can me. i will kick you off the panel if it <laughs> you know so you got an fe panel rusted box water above it so just try to be cautious whenever you're opening the items like this hey you never know until you look it actually does not look too terrible in there it's got grounds and neutrals tied together on a sub panel which you write up every day um, and it looks pretty clean I'm actually surprised you got water above it ru little rusty yes. box and then it's super clean inside we still write up um, FP panel boxes anyways. It's a discontinued box. I'm sure y'all have heard that like a thousand times over now. So, it's hot. It's hot. All right, we have a permanent use of an extension cord over here. Uh, so, 
It's gonna be hard to find, but we're gonna do our best to try to figure out where that goes um, and see if it's spliced up in the attic. All right, we have a water heater flue touching combustibles, so you just wanna cut all sheetrock about an inch away. They create little heat shields too for the flue, so easy repair, but also a fire hazard. Okay, getting in the shade for a slight recap. I can't cover everything on this property. We're only here for so long and we have work we have to do, but um, this, there's, a lot, there's a lot going on with this one. So what I'd like you to do is, if you're a buyer, try to get skilled enough to kind of spot these issues to see if you even make it this far in the process of purchasing. So you can save yourself the inspection fee, you know, the option fee, and your time, really, because you gotta take off work. Uh, to come to these things so if this a home like this is outside of your tolerances you know it has three hvac systems aluminum wiring galvanized plumbing roof issues deck issues you know all kinds of fun things and if that is outside of your tolerance just move on to the next one uh, with your agent don't feel pressured this is one of the most expensive homes that you're ever the purchases of your life that's what i'm trying to say so just make sure that whenever you move in, that you're not gonna be continually having to fix things. This one you will. I mean, you have roof leaks, I'm gonna go over it again. You have three AEC systems, that's a lot on a, oh, I was wrong earlier, on a 3,000 square foot home, that's, 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 that's egregious. I mean, your electricity bills are gonna be high. You have galvanized plumbing and aluminum. So, there's a lot going on with this house. So, just make sure that get skilled enough on trying to spot small issues like this and if you don't want to fix things move on to the next one there are older homes that do not have problems like this and um yeah that was a really long two minute rant i hope that helps you and uh <laughs> please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one and if you saw some more issues with that deck please leave a comment and let those let the viewers know everything i couldn't cover all right thanks guys Bye. I just got this giant, it's, I, just, I just opened it up. It's a giant burrito for like 11 bucks at this place called Tornado Taco. I like to stop at like questionable spots. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess. Wish me luck with this bad boy.